Okay, so this is just a quick video to help you know how to best categorize your body paragraphs when you're writing an argument essay. So your body paragraphs in your argument essay are where you are going to be presenting the reasons and the evidence for those reasons to support your claim. The way you want to categorize them or the order you want to put them in is starting with intellectual and ending with emotional. So if you're writing kind of your, you know, that basic argument essay where you've got three body paragraphs, you want those first two paragraphs to really convince your reader or your audience in, in their brain. You want it to make logical sense. If you've done adequate research for an argument essay, then you're going to have a lot of reasons. And so from those reasons, you want to pick the top two that are the most, the most cerebral, the most intellectual, the most logical, where your audience reading it is going to see that and understand you in their head. Now the final body paragraph of your reason and evidence, you want to make it the reason that gets the heart, that pulls on the heartstrings the most. Because if you can convince someone in their brain and in their heart, then you've pretty much got your argument essay perfectly organized. Um, you want to convince the brain, convince the head, then convince the heart, and end with that because that's what people remember the most, is when their emotions are picued, when their heartstrings are tugged. So that's the order that you want to categorize your reasons and evidence in an argument essay. Get the brain with those first two body paragraphs and then find that piece of evidence or find your reason and the evidence to support it that really wins your audience over emotionally because that's what that lasting final feeling will be and that's what you want it to be because that's what usually drives people to action. So I hope this comes in useful if you are working on an argument essay for any reason right now. Um, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And in the comments below, please let me know if you would enjoy additional videos about structuring essays or just any content related to English language arts that would be useful to you.